Today we visit the Sandwich Islands and answer the question, what does the Amazon forest have to do with the sandiest place on Earth? Oh, and some other places. Here we see Chernobyl and the nearby city Pripyat. Because of human failure and a general bad design, the Chernobyl nuclear reactor was destroyed, resulting in the biggest nuclear catastrophic event. The city of Pripyat had to be evacuated, and it remains abandoned to this day. Here you can see how nature regains ground in Pripyat signaled by an increase in green texture on the satellite images. To make sure no more radiation escapes the reactor, a giant steel dome has been built, which was finished in 2016 and has a lifetime of around 100 years. Humans will have to rebuild these domes for several hundred years or find another way to fight the remaining radiation in the destroyed reactor. Here you can see the construction of the Three Gorges Dam. Today the dam produces with its turbines about as much energy in a year as the whole Netherlands. It's today's biggest dam and took 14 years to build. The construction resulted in a relocation of 1.3 million people. To put that into perspective, this is just like putting the inhabitants of Dallas, Texas in a completely different location. Fun fact, NASA scientists calculated that due to the shift of water mass stored by the dam, a day on Earth is 0.06 microseconds longer. There is a lot more we could talk about, but this will have to wait for another video. The Amazon forest was talked about in an earlier episode of this format, but this time we're a little bit further north. This big river you see right here is no ordinary river. It's the Amazon River and basically spans the entire continent from left to right. It's the biggest river in the world with long unpopulated stretches. Of course, one thing comes to your mind when you hear Amazon forest, deforestation. With a time-lapse of satellite images, it's easily missed. But if we compare the before and after pictures from 1984 and 2016, it becomes clearly visible. But you probably wondered the whole time, what has a sandy place got to do with the Amazon forest? The Sahara Desert, with its precious minerals, enables the rainforest to grow and thrive. For this to happen, the sand, more precisely the minerals, get carried away over the entire Atlantic Ocean, between South America and Africa, just to settle down in the rainiest place on Earth. Mexicali is the capital city of the Mexican state of Baja, California, and is directly located near the US-American border. The border is clearly visible on the satellite images. The city's economy is mostly dependent on agricultural products. And under a 1944 water treaty, the city is guaranteed to receive water from the Colorado River. Lake Laguna Salada, today mostly drained out, is used for recreational driving and apparently features a nightclub in the center of it. Glacier retreat is one of the most prominent effects of climate change. Here we see the Sandwich Island, far away from any major human activity. But its glacier gets smaller and smaller. Which is logical. Climate change envelops the whole planet and doesn't know borders. The only way to fight it is to get it together and fight it as a planet. Thanks for watching. Make sure to share, like and subscribe. And check out the previous episodes. Especially episode 3, it's really good.
Do, do, I, do I really have to say this? 